Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I want to invite you guys to follow me over on Instagram where you can get to know me a little bit better and see my day-to-day -day life by following me at Zarya's Creations. And to see what's in the Etsy shop, make sure you follow Zarya's Creations Co. Hey y'all, hey, it's Sean Jones Harris of Zarya's Creations and I'm about to share with you guys what is in this big huge box right here. It is the latest gadget in my tool shed. It's going to be a game changer for me and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So what we have here, number one, is a box inside of a box, <laughs> which I find to be super funny, but I guess so that they can do packaging um, for the actual product. They just put it inside of another box. So I'm going to get this box open so we can see what is inside. Well, I already know what's inside, so I just might as well tell you. It is a 10 millimeter laminator and it's a game changer because it is going to allow me to create planner covers, planner dashboards that are thicker than the regular size that will be more sturdier and uphold in a book bag, briefcase, whatever, what have you. So real quick, I wanted to share with you guys this five millimeter cover that I used from Amazon and um, it really did not have a company name but I use it just to make this plain notebook and it is stronger than the normal three millimeter covers that I use um, but I still wanted it else, uh, something a little bit stronger than that I mean it's still bendable and flexible but I wanted something stronger more like the happy planner cover if you guys um, use happy planners these covers are heavier and sturdier they don't bend as much which means they will have a longer wear and tear all right so let's get right into it so on the top of the packaging we have the instructions and i will probably go through these instructions because this machine is not the regular flip the switch turn it on so I want to make sure I'm selecting everything right. So it looks like here it has different um, temperature settings. So make sure you guys read the instructions. So number one, you don't set this thing on fire. Number two, you don't break it. Because this baby costs more than the regular $20 laminators that you get from Walmart or Amazon. So make sure you read everything thoroughly. And as you can see, it is packaged very well. Didn't really move inside of the box, which um, I'm grateful for. It's not shaking up, but it does have the styrofoam um, stuff surrounding it. And then it just, on the outside, just tells you that if you need a repair, that you need to return it in this actual box. So I have to remember to keep this box to make sure it's up and running. But... You guys know how to take a package out of the box. I'm not really going to go through that. We're just going to skip ahead to actually getting it set up. So that you're not actually looking for anything else in the box, I just wanted to show you guys. It is just a machine, which is pretty heavy, and the two styrofoam ends. This machine is heavier and sturdier. I guess it is a professional type laminator. And so you definitely want to use both hands when you're taking it out. All right, so here she is, my 10 millimeter laminator from Tamerica, or Tamerica, not really sure how you pronounce it, but it is the heavy duty, the big kahuna. And so I am going to grab my smaller one so you can see the size. This is the Scotch one that I purchased from, I believe it was from Walmart, and it was probably around 17, between 17 and $20. Um, but I want you to see, it's very lightweight. You can handle it with one hand without a problem. I think you can purchase both of them off of Amazon. And um, I'll leave a description down below. Make sure you scroll down, down below, and you'll be able to, um, just with one click, make your own purchase. Now, this one does 3 millimeter and 5 millimeter laminate, while the bigger one and does up to 10. It does 
three, five, I believe eight and 10. But it's very easy, very compact. As you can see, just wrap the wire around the bottom and you can go take it wherever you want. So here is the machine on the left hand side here. You have your warning label for how to um, take care of the machine. On the front plate, you have measurements, um, letter size measurements, so you know what size paper and how to place it on the actual um, ledge there to make sure that you get it heated up. Then over here, you have your power switch as well as your measurement. So the top one is the motor switch, and then you have your measurement over here. And then the bottom one, that red button is your power switch. Sorry guys, got a little confused. And then this is your temperature gauge right here. And you'll follow this chart right here so that you know which temperature to place for your laminate. All right, and then that's where the heat comes out and your laminate comes out of the back. So make sure that you don't touch that because it will probably be hot and then you just have your cord right there so i am going to open up this cord and get it plugged in and then we will do one of our first projects but before we do that let me show you the laminate paper that i ordered i ordered this from amazon as well best laminating and the paper size is nine by eleven and a half thermal inches and it is the 10 millimeter it came separate um, from the actual machine, so it took a couple days. So I wanted to make sure that I waited to do this video for the paper to arrive. So then that way I can share the whole entire project with you guys. Up until now, I had been using the Scotch laminating pouches. They've been doing me fine and well. Pretty much grabbed them from Walmart or um, Staples if I have to grab them from staples but they work absolutely perfect for me but I have not found them in a 10 millimeter I'm not sure if they do provide that or not but I have them now from another brand so if you guys know of any other companies that sells the 10 millimeter milliliter um <laughs> 10 ml laminate pouches just let me know and then here is another size that I use also from scotch and it's eight and a half by 11 so I'm glad the 10 mil is nine by 11 and a half because that gives me I think that is the perfect size to use for a lot of the things that I am doing but unfortunately it doesn't come in a three or the five that way Now here I'm just trying to look and see what size this one is it's because it's not actually labeled on the box. So I put it up against the other one and it still did not tell me what size it was. So let's get this baby plugged up now so that we can do our first project. All right, so I did notice when I took the cord apart that it's not your regular two-prong cord. It is a three-prong cord. <clears throat> so you definitely want to make sure you have an adapter if your um, wall socket does not, um, is not agreeable with that. I think it's supposed to be like better and more grounded if it has a three-prong. I'm not sure. All right, so I am going to turn the machine on with this red button right here. Not going to turn the motor on yet because the instructions um, tell you don't do it yet. <laughs> so I just looked at what size paper I am going to use, which is the 10. And then I turned the knob up to the number four because that is the temperature gauge that they require. So I'm going to grab my laminate sheets out of the box. I think well, I'm only going to need, I may only need one since this laminate goes up to 11 and a half. I'll probably only need one and the size of my sheets are about five and three quarters. If yeah, about, mm, no, maybe it's five and a quarter five and a quarter each so they should fit in there perfectly it is frosted as you can see so but you will be able to see through it but it's like a frosted laminator laminate 
<laughs> sorry, but you will be able to see um, the project through there. And I can tell the thickness. I can already tell just how thick it is. But see, you can see my hand right through it as well as my ring light. And I just noticed a couple markings on there. I don't know if that's why me pulling it out of the box. But I'm waiting for that light to turn green. And then once it goes green, then I'll turn on the motor. And then we can get started. All right, so here are the sheets that I am going to use. I made this design in Canva. If you guys are interested in using Canva and trying out the um, the free paid trial, make sure you click the link down below in the description bar. I believe you get seven days for trying it out and it'll be the paid version that you get to actually try out. I love it. Even though there is a lot that you can do for free using the free version, but I do like the convenience of the paid version. All right, so I'm fitting them in and I'm making sure that there is enough room in between that I will be able to slice them as well as keep them solid together. Because once you cut them, you want to make sure that it does not open. So they fit in there really well. And then my light still isn't green. So we have to wait for that light. And then I'll just put it in the front and you just take it out the back. So um, I had my timer set for 10 minutes, which is almost 10 minutes. It's like a watch clock, guys. When you watch a clock, it seems like it never ticks. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so now we are ready. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention when it turned green, but it is green now. And so my watch says we have three more minutes. So I am going to follow the instructions, which says let it warm up for a whole 10 minutes. So I had set my timer for the 10 minutes because for especially for the very first time I want to make sure that I am doing this properly and correctly and that I don't damage my um, machine at all in the process so it says 10 minutes then 10 minutes it is and then it'll be a go after that And if anybody has this machine and uses this machine, let me know in the comment section down below how do you like it. Or if you use a different 10 millimeter laminator, let me know how do you like that machine and if it's something that you are willing to keep or if you are ready for a change. And as you can see, there is an arrow here to indicate that this is the front of the machine. And that'll be the side that we insert our paper and it will come out on the left hand side. One more minute according to my watch. And I am now going to flip the switch to turn the motor on. So that'll get things going. And it's fairly quiet. It doesn't make like a whole lot of noise. Fairly quiet if you were wondering. Y'all, I'm going all the way down to the minute, <laughs> to the minute. Okay, so I am going to insert her, and I think this card is super cute. It's going to be a notebook cover, um, although I did put the wording a little close to the edge, so it'll probably just be a notebook cover for me. And I'm going to hold on to the opposite end of the paper because they're... Um, it's not the platform is not elongated, so I don't want it to drop and I don't want the cardstock to shift the inside of the laminate. So I'm going to hold it till I feel like it is securely held by the machine. Now, with my three and five milliliter laminates, I always run it through the machine twice, and I'm probably going to do that with this one um, at least until I get a, a happy feel of it. I will probably do that. But it's coming through. It is definitely on the hot side coming through. Not intolerable. Like, I definitely can tolerate it. But, yeah, I can feel the strength in the laminate. I am loving it. Sorry, it's not on camera for you guys to see. But I'm going to end up cutting it down. Once I cut it down, then I am going to put it back through the laminator. Be right back. 
Oh, and just in case you haven't seen any of my other videos with the laminate, I'll try to remember to leave a description. Once I pull my projects through, not pull, once they come through, I normally take a bone folder or something to go over the creases or the um, inside laminate. You will see that there is a bubble and I like to assist it with mending by just running something over it while it is still warm and then I am going to put it through. And if you notice, I am putting it through the laminator in a different um, direction, only because it fits. That's the only reason why, is because it fits and just to give it heat in another direction. And here she is, super cute. I am turning off the motor while I do this. Sorry for the glare of the ring light, but I am loving the color. I am not even a silver or a gray person, but I really do love this cover. And I think for the first one, I'll keep it for myself as a memorabilia for my 10 ml. So now let's get it cut down and we'll go from there. All right, so now I have my pieces cut in half. I am really loving this 10 ml. I feel like where have you been on my life? So I'm just shooting it back through, once I turn the motor on, shooting it back through the laminator just to make sure all edges are sealed, all four edges are sealed. And I'm waiting for it to take it in. Maybe it's delayed because I just turned the motor on. So I'm just going to give it a second and then I will try it again. All right, there it go. And you can see the top of my head peeking through. <laughs> my head's like, what is going on? Now, I think it's wide enough that it'll go through without any issues or problems. Yep, there it is. There she blows. I hope you guys don't mind. I deleted all the middleman, and now you see the finished product. Both of the covers, the front as well as the back. And again, guys, I created this on Canva. So if you are interested in trying out their free trial for the paid version, make sure you click that link down below. It'll take you right there. There's no charge. I believe it's for seven days. And the I'm just waving it because it is heavy and I'm loving it. It feels just like the Happy Planner covers, which are thick and sturdy. And so I am confident it will last a long time in my book bag. All right, so again, motor off. And I am going to turn my power off as well as turn down the heat because we won't be needing that. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them down below in the description bar and I will be sure to answer them. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button as well to be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. And let me know if there's something else that you wanna see on this channel. And until next time, peace, love, blessings, and be safe, guys. Ciao for now.